So when you get around to paying household bills, uh, such as electricity and gas and water, um, there may well be, as part of the bill, a standing charge, of a certain quarterly standing charge that you have to pay. So let's say that on the bill it says £10.40 for standing charge for the quarterly bill. And then you also have to pay for the cost of the units that you've used. So electricity is, um, in, the, in how you pay, is made up of units. So let's say that you've used up 264 units uh, this quarter, and it costs 6.85 pence per unit. Okay, so on your bill, it would likely say how much of a penny um, the actual unit costs. So we need to work out how much these units have cost. So we need to work out 264 times 6.85. Okay, so we do that on our calculator. 264 times 6.85 is 1808.4 pence. Okay, so we can see that this is 1,808.4 pence. So we've got this 0.4 of a penny. In these cases, the money is rounded down, in this case, to the nearest penny. So you round it to the nearest penny. So that would be 1,808 pence, which is £18.8 in pounds. Okay, so that 0.4 of a penny is ignored. This is then added on to the standing charge, and so overall the quarterly bill in this case is £28.48. Okay, so that is how the bill would be made up, if you will, at the standing charge and the cost of units. So the standing charge is dependent upon the uh, electricity company that you use, um, and so is the price per unit of the electricity. Um, but they would be calculated in a very similar way.